knees releasing down, we start feeling also the weight of our hands. Start feeling that your shoulder can release down, 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 every time that you exhale. Let your shoulders be heavy and try to find more space between your shoulders and your ears. So it's like if your neck became longer, simply by letting the shoulder go towards the ground. And we start exhaling through our mouth. So you are all muted, so you can really use your voice if it feels good, inhaling deeply, and exhaling. <sighs> All the air out. Try to really, really, really empty your lungs. Inhaling. Exhaling. <sighs> More times with your own tempo. Inhaling deeply, you feel how the belly and the chest expand. Exhaling, we release everything down, 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 down. And use your voice to really let go. Keep exhaling through your mouth. And we use it also as a metaphor to let go all the thoughts, maybe some worries that we had during those days. So we try to really, try to exhale them out. Let it go down, 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 down to the ground, to the earth. Inhaling fresh, new air. Exhaling all out. <sighs> And then we gently start closing the mouth, but we keep the depth of our breathing. So we still inhale deeply in, and exhale through the nostril, but very deeply, all the air goes out. Relax the lower jaw. We let the face be relaxed. We let the shoulders again be heavy. We feel the weight of the elbows, of the wrists, hands and fingers. We feel the weight of our arms and hands on our thighs or our knees. And we feel the legs can also relax down, 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 down. Trusting the ground is a great support. Exhaling and releasing everything down, 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 down. Try to really Trust the ground and let the whole body release down. Feel the weight of your body. With a very sharp attention, we can also feel the weight of each one of our fingers. And simply observe it. Mm, exhale all the air out. And slowly, slowly, if we have the eyes closed, we can keep them closed, or if you prefer, you can open them and simply rest the case down. And we move the right hand towards the left shoulder. And then feel the weight in the exhalation of the right hand, pull the shoulders down, 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 down. And then the left hand towards the right shoulder, same thing, let the shoulder go down, 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 down. So now we don't worry about our spine being super stretched or flexed. Simply let the shoulder release down. And feel the touch of your own self. So feel the touch of your hands. Maybe there is some difference of the temperature of your hands and shoulders. You feel the touch. And then slowly, slowly let the uh, chin going towards the chest very, very, very slowly. Head becomes heavy, neck release down, 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 down. Try to be very gentle, but also let it go so the head is heavy. Where do you feel your breath now? Is it your belly? Is it your chest? Is it your throat, your nose? It's not right or wrong, simply us as observers towards our breathing and our body. 
Let the shoulder rest through this touch. Like if it was a very gentle touch of a warm blanket on top of your shoulder. And let your shoulder release down, 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 down. And then without losing the contact with our body, we move the hands, but try to not lose the contact. So the hands are keep touching the body. And we uncross and let the hands go back on our thighs or on our knees. Exhale deeply through your mouth. Next time we inhale, we visualize our tailbone and we let the spine become longer and stronger. Let the neck rise back up, 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 up. Exhale, send the shoulders again far from the ears. Inhale and exhale deeply here. Find the shoulders are heavy. Your chest is open. Feel the weight of your arms and your hands on your legs. Let the legs be heavy. And then imagine that you have a pencil on the top of your nose and you want to draw little circles on a canvas that is in front of you. So do a little movement of the head. First, choose one direction and commit to it. And then change direction and again, we start the movement from the nose. And then we re-center shoulders again, fall down, 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 down. Let the right here go towards the right shoulder, very gently with your neck. Feel the weight of your head towards one side. Then we recenter. And then left here towards the left shoulder, let it go. Feel the weight of your head relaxing more and more, the neck is stretching. And then we recenter. Exhale and send it again. Shoulder far from the ears. Then we start stretching our eyes. So with the eyes closed and the head very well stable in the center, we start looking up, 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 up with eyes and then down and then full to the right, full towards the left, up right, down left, up left, down right. We center the eyes, exhale, send the shoulders again far from the ears. And we're going to stretch our tongue. So we start pulling the tongue out and we do all the surface of our teeth from the outside with our tongue. Choose one direction first. Change direction. And we recenter. Relax the lower jaw, relax the shoulder, relax the legs. Feel the sensation that you feel maybe in your lower jaw, in your tongue, in the muscles of your mouth and head. So it's very difficult that we move the tongue so much during the day. So it's a good stretch. And it's also anti-stress tip in case we are at home alone and we can do it and stretch our tongue. Exhaling again here, find your shoulders heavy, heavy, heavy again. Now, chin is slightly towards the chest. Remember that your spine is now long from the tailbone, vertebra by vertebra, the spine is long and strong, neck is following, crown of the head is pointing up, chin slightly towards the chest. And again, the shoulders are heavy, the chest is open. Exhale down here, find a part of the body in contact with the pillow or with the ground. Inhaling from the elbows, we rise up, 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 up with our heads. So the arms are long and strong. Imagine that you're kind of hugging your head. So the arms are hugging and they are the same height of your ears. Send the arms longer towards the ceiling. Up, 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 up. Exhaling, send the shoulders down. Inhaling, rise up, long arms. Exhaling, shoulders release down. Keep going with your own tempo. Inhaling, rise up, 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 up. Exhaling, release the shoulders down. Now keep going and try to simply observe what happened to the lower part of your body. Maybe your glutes are contracting, 
maybe your legs rise up. So try to check. And if you're creating tension on the lower body, try to relax and try to separate the movement. So we're only stretching the upper body. The lower body is fully grounded, fully relaxed. Last round. Inhale, long, 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 long arms. Exhale, hands back towards the thighs or the knees. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Simply observe what's up in your arms and fingers and hands. We're moving a bit of energy, so maybe you feel some sparkles of energy on your arms. Stay with it. And then slowly, slowly, we release the pillow. If we are sitting on a pillow, maybe towards one side. Release your sit bones to the ground. And maybe you want to open and move your flesh so you really feel your sit bones in contact with the ground. Wingle a bit left to right, hands are on our knees. And in this wingling, we allow the arms and the shoulders to also release down. So wingle with your hips and let the shoulders and the arms relax. And exhale deeply down here. <clears throat> Inhale, once again, through the elbows. Arms rise up, 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 up. Make it longer, longer, longer. Then turn the palms towards the center. Exhale, release your hands down. So we don't go super low. First, we stay here. Open the fingers. Hands are very, very, very stretched. Press down. Find that exact position in which there is one line from your table till the crown of the head. Elbows are parallel. Press with your hands. So you pull with your hands towards the body. The chest opens a bit more. And then slowly, slowly, if it feels good, try to walk your hands far from your body. Making a few steps if it feels good. Try to check. If it feels good, you can maybe release the whole upper body toward the ground. So you stay down. I'm going to rise up just to talk. We are working with what we have. So if we today it doesn't feel good to go nowhere, stay up and try to work with the weight of your head. So if you stay up, try to release your head and let your neck be heavy. And wherever we are, either lower down with our forehead touching the ground, or maybe slightly upper, try to really feel where do you feel your breath now? Which parts of the body are receiving this movement created by the breathing? What's happening in your spine, in your back, when we inhale, when we exhale? Take a big inhalation here. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Walk the hands slowly, slowly, slowly towards the body. Maintain a 30, 40 centimeters from your legs. And then press and move towards all four. So taking a moment here, al um, aligning our all four, wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Spreading the fingers, decide if you want to tuck your toes, point the feet, whatever feels good for you. Stay here and try to maintain a parallel line with the ground, with your spine, and let your neck follow. Exhale in stillness, let your chest and belly relax down, 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 down. Feel how strong your arms are. Inhale in stillness, find more space between your shoulder blades. Exhale, release all the way down, 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 down. Find out your body can finally relax. Inhale, press and rise up, cow position. Sit with are high, chest is open, gaze up. Exhale, roll down, vertebra by vertebra, gaze towards the belly button, release the head. Inhale, open up, cow pose. Exhale, down to cat. Inhaling, rising up. Exhaling, down, cat pose. Arch the spine, release the head. Close your eyes and start freestyling, moving the body as you want to move in this specific moment, in this specific space. Maybe adding some circles with your hips. Maybe also with your neck, very, very, very gently, trying to see which stretch works for you in this moment. Remember to exhale all the air out. We are never holding the breath. See, always a big inhalation and a big exhalation. 
through the mouth, all the air out. Shake your head a bit down. And then we find again stillness, all four. Spine and neck are parallel to the ground. Now we all tie the toes. Send your hips towards the heels. Inhale, stay here. Exhale, very slowly. Rise up your knees, slowly, slowly, slowly. And we meet in down facing up. Exhale and find the stretch in the top. Send the sit bones very high. Try to send the soft part, the back of your elbows, towards the center of the room. So there is an outer rotation like this. Press down, 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 down with your hands. Also with the fingertips so that our uh, wrists are supported. And then we all bend the knees and we start waving the spine back and forth. Keep a big exhalation. So in order to make a wave from the table to the crown of the head, we really have to bend the knees and work with our very strong legs. Start feeling your core. If it's too much, we can always take a rest in child pose. Or take another big breath here. And when you exhale, deep and the pose again in down dog. Either here. Through the mouth, all out. Ooh, shake your head. Yes, yes, no, no. Ooh, press with your hands. Inhale, knees down. Exhale, child pose. Releasing all the weight down. Choose what feels good for you in child. So you can choose to have your knees separating, more space for the belly and the chest to relax, or knees together. And releasing, working with the arching of the spine, releasing maybe the hands to the back. Whatever feels good for you here, keep breathing and start noticing where do you feel your breath now. Again, is it your belly? Is it your chest? Is it your throat? Exhale deeply through the mouth. Find the palm of your hands, move them in front of you, there at the back. Wave towards all four again. Exhaling, tucking the toes up to down, facing up. Exhale through the mouth. Shake your head. Inhaling, knees down. Exhaling, child pose. We're gonna go for our simple flow. Inhaling, press, all four. Exhaling, down dog. Inhaling, all four. Exhaling, down, child pose. Inhaling, all four. Exhaling, down, dog. Keep going, your own tempo. Very simple flow. Each asana got a moment in our breathing. And try to repeat inside yourself. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So we are tricking the mind, letting the mind understand that the only task during this practice, during this hour, is to focus on the breathing. No other thoughts in between, no loops. Simply breathing, inhaling and exhaling, and we're connecting this with our movement. Now, next time that we are up in down dog, we stay here and we exhale deeply through the mouth. Everything down, 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 down. Remember, your sequels are high, chest is open. Soft part, the back of the elbows towards the center. Press with your fingertips, spread the fingers. Another round, bending the knees, waving the spine, tuning with your breath. <sighs> Make noises, use your voice if it feels good. <sighs> Two more breaths. Take a deep inhalation and deep exhalation. And then we stay down the sit bones are high, stretch in the dog. In here, through the mouth, all out. Ooh, shake your head. Look at your hands. Slowly, slowly, walk the feet toward. Very, very, very slowly. Exhaling, find yourself in forward fold. Exhale, Ooh, relax down, 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 down. Now here, we don't need to be very low. If this is not happening, it's good. It's also good. 
but try to maintain that the lower part of the body is so strong that it's supporting the upper part. Relax down, 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 down. Find the soles of your feet, spread your fingers and toes, sorry, spread your toes, <laughs> and then ground down with your feet. Micro bend the knees, table back thunder, and slowly, 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 we rise up. Very slowly, vertebra after vertebra, head is heavy, neck is heavy. Slowly, 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 feel the weight of your arms, and then slowly we rise up. Tadasana, mountain pose. Energy down, 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 down towards our feet. And then down, 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 big roots. And then down, 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 center of the earth. From there, take all the energy back up. When we in inhale, we open up our chest. Open, 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 open. Exhale, relax down the shoulders. Remember that at the very beginning of the practice. When we inhale, and then ooh, relax down. Find the soles of your feet again, spread the toes, and press down, 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 down. Feet are slightly bigger than what we think they are. Exit down here. We're gonna go for a first flow, pressing from the feet, inhaling, rise up. Exhale, release all the way down. Inhaling, halfway up. Exhale, releasing all the way down. Inhaling, pressing with the hands. Exhaling, down facing dog. Take three deep breaths here. Exhale, one. Remember the alignment, see points are high. And then relax the head, two. Exhale, three. Ooh. Inhale, move towards the plank. Align the plank, wrist under the shoulders. Find the adjustment that works for you. Send the heels towards the back. We're not sinking down, we're not too high. Find where your core is working. Take another big inhalation here. Exhaling Chaturanga, elbows parallel, release down, 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 down. Try not to touch the mat, the press up, upper dog. Open your chest, knees are up. Exhale, down, facing up. So this is a vinyasa, and we can take it every time that we stop in down dog during the practice in case we feel very, very active. Inhale, left foot take the weight, to rise up your right leg. Toes are pointing down, hips are square, so the leg doesn't go super high because the hips are square. Send the left heel towards the ground. Then bend the right knee, or rise the right knee up, 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 up. Look under your right armpit. Stretch back, three-legged dog. Toes are pointing down. Inhale here, exhale knee to nose. Inhale, rise the cup, up, 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 up. Exhale knee to right elbow. Inhale, rise up. Exhale knee to left. Rise up, 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 stretch, long leg. Exhale, foot between the hands. So you can make it in one step or two. And then finally, we got this alignment where the ankle is right under the front knee. And try to maintain the hip distance between the feet. The hands are down, supporting us, but the core is very, very engaged. So if we want, we are able to detach the hands. Pulse down, start feeling how your hips are today. Very, very slowly. We find the perineum, the space between the genital and the anus. We feel it. Pulls down. <sighs> and then slowly, slowly, the back knee release down. We point the back foot. Find your core. Inhaling, low lunge. Rise up your hands. Exhale, release the shoulders. <sighs> Let your hips fall. Imagine that someone is pulling you and then the sacrum is releasing down. Inhale, longer arms. Exhale, releasing cactus, open the chest, bend the arms, and then hands go down, pressing with the hands, tap the toes in the back, rise up the knee, front foot up to the back, three-legged dog. Exhale, down, facing dog. In here, exhale through the mouth. Now, three breaths in dog, or take a vinyasa, or take a child pose as a rest. Whatever feels good for you, follow your breath. <sighs> Great, if you are in child pose, take a big exhalation through the mouth, and we all meet up in down facing dog. And then in dog, we take a big inhalation, and through the mouth out. <sighs> right foot take the weight, rise up your left leg, toes are pointing down, the leg doesn't go super high. 
And then we bend the knee, send the knee up, 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 up. Look under your left armpit. Open, 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 open towards the ceiling. Stretch back, three-legged dog. Toes are pointing down. Find the leg long. In here, exhale, knee to nose. In and right up. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Strong in plank. In and right back up. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Rise back up, long leg. In one or two steps, foot between the hands. And find the alignment here again. So again, we have the knee right on top of the ankle. The feet are still hip distance apart, hips are square. Hands are pointing down. But if we want, we are able also to detach them because the core is engaged. Pulls down, find the perineum again. Pulls down, 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 down. <sighs> All the air out. Remember not to hold the breath. Big inhalation and then exhale. Back, back knee release down, point the foot. Find your core, inhale it through the, from the elbows. Rise up, 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 up. And open the chest. Exhale, shoulders release down. And release your sacrum down. Hips are releasing any tension. In a longer arms, exhale, release only the shoulders. In a long, 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 long with the arms, exhale, open to cactus, chest is super open, the heart is open, and then hands release down, press with your hands, tuck the toes, knee rise up, front foot rise up, three legged duck. Exhale, down facing dog, exhale here, send the sequence high. Your choice, three right here, or maybe you want to take a vinyasa or a child pose. Ooh. If you choose the child pose, take a big exhalation there. And then rise up in down dog. We all inhale in the dog and through the mouth, shaking the head down. Inhaling, we look at the hands. We walk or jump towards them, halfway up. Exhaling, releasing down, 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 down. Spread your toes, press with your feet, micro bend the knees, inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands together, heart center. Take a moment here, inhaling and exhaling, sending all the energy down, 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 down. Feet, big roots, center of the earth. Take all the energy back up, fill up your body. Open the shoulders, send them down. Take a moment to feel your heartbeat and your breathing through your chest. Ooh, exhale, down, 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 down. Second round, inhale, rise up. Exhale, release down. Spread your toes, press down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release down. Relax the upper part. Inhaling, hands touch the ground. Exhaling, down facing dog. One. Exhale, two. Ooh, sit bones are high, relax the head. Exhale, three, in and plank. Adjust the plank, find where your core is working. Two, spread the finger and press down also with your fingertips. Third exhalation, down, chaturanga. In and press and rise up, up dog, open the chest. Exhale, roll on your toes, back to down, facing up. Exhale, deeply here. Ooh. Inhale, left foot, take the weight, rise up your right leg. Then bend the knee, open up, outer rotation of the hips, look under your right armpit. And then toes are pointing out, stretch back, three legged like up. Only one time, inhale here, exhale to the nose. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, foot between the hands. Take a moment here again, pulse the beat. Find your perineum, the alignment, right? We got it. So your foot is right under the knee. Hips are still, uh, sorry, feet are still hips and apart. Find your core. This time we're going press and pose. Press, inhale, rise up. Exhale, release and down. Inhale, longer arms. Exhale, shoulders down. Find your sacrum relaxing. Bend the back knee so it will work more. Inhale, long. Exhale, open, cactus, chest is super open, 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 hands goes down, press, front foot to the back, three legged dog. Exhale, down dog, your choice. Here, take a vinyasa or take a child pose. 
Exhale. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, tune in with your breath. All the air out. If you are in child, take a big exhalation through your mouth. Find your hands, and we all meet back down facing dog. Big exhalation in dog through the mouth, shaking the head. Right foot take the weight, rise up your left foot, hips are parallel, and then bend the knee, look under your left armpit. Outer rotation, up, 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 open with the knee. Stretch back, three-legged dog. Inhalation here, exhaling knee to nose. Inhaling, stretch back, very long left. Exhaling, one or two steps, foot between the hands. And then pull down and find again your perineum. Find again your sacrum, feeling the gravity releasing down. So the back toes, the toes of the back foot, are all in contact with the ground because the hips are square. Find your core, inhaling, rising up, present pose. Exhale, bend a bit the back knee. In a long arms. Exhale, relax the shoulders. Front knee on top of the front ankle. In a. Exhale, open, cactus, chest is super open. Open, 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 open. Hands down, press, front foot to the back. Rise up, three legged dog. Exhale, down, facing dog. Your choice. Here, take a vinyasa or take a rest in child pose. <sighs> Find your breath. Either in movement or in the dog, or in your child pose. Hold the air out. Find the ground as a great support, whatever you're doing. If you're in child, exhale through your mouth, roll out. Find your hands, press, and we all meet back in down dog. In the ear, exhaling, shaking the head, through the mouth, all the air out. In the we look at our hands, we walk or jump towards them, ask for ya. Exhaling, we release everything down, 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 down. Find your feet, inhale, rise up, 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 stretch up. Exhale, feet are big, release everything down, 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 down. And we take again a moment here, Tadasana, with the thumbs in contact with the chest. Maintain the feet, hips, distance apart. Exhale, send all the energy down to the feet. Down to the roots, down to the center of the earth. And from there, take all the energy. Imagine this big energy from the center of the earth, filling up the whole body. Inhalation, rise up. Exhale, release and down. Inhale, and for your chest is open. Space between the chin and the pubic bones. Exhale, release down, 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 down. Inhale, hands down. Exhale, down, down. Sit bones are high. One. Exhale, two. Stretch in the dog. Exhale, three. And now we go for a vinyasa together, inhaling plank. Exhaling, chaturanga. Inhaling, up dog, chest is open. Exhaling, roll your toes down, dog. Sibles are again high. Inhaling, left foot, take the weight, rise up your right leg. Toes are pointing down. Bend the knee. This time we take big circles, just one direction with the knee. And then opposite direction. And then stretch the leg long again. In a here, exhale knee to nose. In a back up. Exhale foot between the hands. One or two steps. Find your alignment. Exhalation knee release down. In a rise up low lunge. Exhale through the cactus, hands down. Tuck the toes, back knee up, in a high lunge. Through the cactus, hands down. In a here, and then exhale, front foot to the back. Exhale, toes on top of our left heel, send the heel towards the ground. In a plank. Exhale, dog. In a plank. Exhale, dog. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale. Right leg rise up. Exhale. Down dog. Ooh, on the air out. Your choice. Here or down to child pose or take a vinyasa. 
Ooh, whatever you're doing, find your breath. Ooh. Try to send all the exhalation down, 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 down. We're really rooting down every time we exhale. We feel more and more grounded, more and more supportive. If you are in chai, take a big exhalation through the mouth. And then we all meet back up in down facing dog. Big exhalation here through the mouth, all in dog, steeples and high. Inhale, right foot press down, rise up your left leg. And then bend the knee and start making circles with the knee. First, choose one direction and then opposite direction. Maintain the alignment on the back and then stretch long leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Strong, good plan. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, foot between the hands. Find again alignment. Pulls down. Front ankle under the front knee. And then knee release down. Release the foot from your core. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, open in cactus. Open, 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 open. Hands close down. Tie the toes. Back knee rise up. Inhale, rise up. High lunge. Exhale, open cactus. Press. Inhale, rise back up. Three legs up. Exhale, toes on top of our right heel. Send the heels down. Inhale, plank. Exhale, top. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Same dog. Send your right heel towards the ground. Rise up your left leg. Exhale, down facing dog, your choice. Here, take a vinyasa or take a child pose. Ooh, hold the air out, feel how the ground is supporting. Calm down your breath, wherever you are. Ooh, try to really send the exhalation very, very low down towards the center of the earth. If you are in child pose, take a big exhalation through your mouth. Find the palm of your hands, way back towards all four, and we all meet in down facing dog. Exhaling through the mouth here. Shaking the head. In a looking at our hand, walk or jump towards that halfway up. Exhaling, releasing all the way down, 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 down. Pressing from the feet, bending the knees, in up, 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 up. Exhale, and together our center. And this time we put one hand on top of the other, and we exhale down, 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 letting the shoulders be heavy again. Ooh. Try to find a moment in which you really, really, really feel the heartbeat and your breathing. Exhaling, releasing down, 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 down. Simply observing heart and breathing and waiting for them to go back to neutral. Meanwhile, we visualize our feet slight bigger than we think they are. Feet are super grounded, down, 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 down. The knees are micro bended. Tailbone is slightly tucked under, so it's basically like if there was a wall behind you and you're lining towards it. So we're not open. I will try to kind of like tilt the pelvis towards the front. Exhale, sending all the exhalation down, 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 down. And now, without losing the contact with our chest, with our body, we move the right hand towards the left shoulder, left hand towards the right shoulders, and here in Tadasana, we let the shoulder release down, 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 down. Let the chin go in towards the chest. Very, very, very slowly. Feel the weight of the head. And then slowly, 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 we start bending the knees and release the upper part of the body down. So we feel the weight of our shoulders and our hands are pulling them down. And then at some point, release also your arms. Feet are still hip distance apart. And with our knees bent, we release the whole upper body towards the ground. We should feel our belly in contact with our thighs. So try to check if you're stable here. Spread your toes, feet and hips distance apart, bend the knees, belly in touch with our thighs, upper body is fully relaxed. Inhale, move your hands up, we move towards the chair pose, find your core, open, 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 open. Remember the arms are sort of like hugging your ears. 
Press down, in and here. Exhale, lowering down. Find your toe, in and rise up on your toes. Exhale, release down. In and again, rise up on your toes, knees are still parallel. Exhale, release down, hands go down, sit pose, rise up. Exhale, release down, 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 down. Through the mouth. Ooh. And we start swinging left and right. And did a nice stretch to the sides of our torso. And releasing the upper part of the body. So we are so strong with the lower part of the body that we are totally able to fully support the upper part of the body. Let your upper part of the body dance around because we're allowed to move because you're super, super grounded. And then slowly, slowly we recenter. Inhaling, we stay halfway up and try to really wave your spine, open the chest. Exhaling, relaxing down. You're gonna do it two more times. Inhaling, rise halfway up, open the chest. Exhale, allow yourself to fall down. Inhaling, up. Exhale, release down, 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 down. This time we also bend the knees. We go on top of our toes and we hug our legs. So try to find balance here. For sure, you can also let your hands go down. Try to see if you can find balance. We have our little balance exercise here. Fix point to the ground or if you want more challenge, eyes can be closed and maybe your nose can be between your knees. So try to see what feels good for you. Exhaling deeply, deeply, deeply down here. In a here, exhaling, trust in the ground, let yourself roll towards the back. Ooh. And we massage a bit the spine by rolling back and forth. Very, very, very slowly. And then we let the whole spine be in contact with the ground and we hug for a moment our knees towards the chest. Oh, try to send your shoulder and shoulder blades towards the ground. Take a moment here and check where you feel your breath the most. Exhale deeply, deeply down here. And then slowly, slowly, let your left leg release down. We keep hugging our right leg. Try to see if this is enough for you, enough of a stretch for you. Stay here, or if you have your bed or your t-shirt close to you, we can take it, put it in the back of our right foot, and try to stretch the right leg up. So we, have, we are hugging the belt or the t-shirt with our hands. Stretch the left leg main wide, it's very stretch, flex the foot. And then try to create this L shape. Try to stay here, sending the shoulder and shoulder blades towards the ground. Now, if this is too much, go back to hugging your knees. And simply stay there. We take a few breaths wherever we are. You can also decide to take them with only one hand. Whatever feels good for you. We take another three big breaths here. Try to see if you want to pull your leg a bit more towards your head. Oh, exhale, release down, 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 down. Feel the shoulders relax. Hmm. And then we let the right hand take in both sides of the t-shirt or your belt. If you are with your knee bent, simply position your hands on the knee and then let your knee fall towards the right side. In case you have your belt, let the whole leg fall towards the right side. Both cases, the left hand is like pulling down our left hip. So try to see what feels good for you. This is your own stretching moment, so feel what, what is good for you right now. And stay simply breathing with this stretch. So we are going towards more of a yin side of the practice. We are simply exploring the stretches, what happens to our body while we stretch. Also the resilience of our body, the ability to adjust to positions. Exhaling deeply down, let your body fully relax. Separate the engagement. So we have the stretch in our right leg, 
but the rest of the body can very relax down to the ground. Then slowly, slowly recenter your leg, move with the, the belt to the left hand and try to stretch a bit towards the left. So it's like if the right leg want to go towards the left. So try to go very, very, very slowly. Try to maintain the hips towards the ground. So we're only stretching the leg. So you should feel a great stretch to some muscles that maybe are new. <laughs> so it should be like the outside of your right leg. And stay there, a few more breaths. Slowly, slowly, recenter the legs. Take again with the two hands and then release down. Both legs are down, down, down towards the ground. Take a moment with both hands on your hips, send both hips down, and we simply observe if there is any difference from the left side and the right side. And we simply observe, there's nothing that we want to change. And then we let the right leg be to the ground. We flex the right foot. And then we bend the left knee, we bring it towards the chest. Now, if you don't have the belt or the t-shirt, Every time that I say left or right with the leg stretch, you just do it with your knee bend. So you can move it here, and then we change hand, and we move towards the other side. If you have the belt, then position again the belt on the back of the foot, and rise up the left leg. So at the very beginning, we take with two hands our belt. Try to see, it can be very different one side or the other. Exhale and send it again, the shoulder far, and towards the ground. Try to see if every time you exhale, maybe you can pull a bit more the left leg towards your head, let's say. The right leg is stretched. It can also be that you're very low. Wherever you are, just stay with it. There's no judgment. We're simply getting the great stretch that works for us in this specific moment. Exhale deeply here. Find out the rib cage in the chest and fully relax. Then let the left hand take both sides of the bed and open the leg towards the left. Right hand on top of our right hip. So send the hips down. Open, open, open until it feels good for you. Try to maintain the, the right foot flat so the right leg is also very engaged. And we stay here a few breaths. So if you are with your knee bent, simply let your knee towards the side. Exhale, release down, 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 down. Try to find this stretch in your legs, but also this relaxation on the upper side of your body. Exhale, deeply, deeply, deeply near. Recenter. Move the belt to the right hand and move the leg towards the right. So again, we should feel some maybe unexpected muscle engaged. <laughs> if this is the case, stay there. So again, try to maintain both hips down. If you want, you can put your uh, left hand on top of your left hip. Try to maintain it down. So we have a great stretch to the back and, and the side of our uh, left leg. Stay here. If, you don't, if you're not using the back, simply bend the knee and send the knee towards the right. Exhaling. And again, we feel the adaptability of the body in this stretch. Try to separate the moment which part of the body are engaged and which part of the body can fully relax. We slowly recenter. Take a moment in which both hands take the belt. Exhale, sending again the shoulder far from the ears. And then slowly, slowly bending the knees, relaxing the leg. And having both legs long, hands on top of our hips. Exhaling, letting the whole body relax down, 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 down. Take 
take a moment here and exhale through your mouth. Feel how supported we are by the ground. Ooh. Let your feet fall towards the outside. Let your belly and hips be heavy. Let your rib cage and chest be supported by the ground. Release everything down, 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 down. Slowly, slowly. We bend the knees and we let the soles of the feet be in contact with the ground, very close to our glutes. Feet are hip seasons apart, knees are hip seasons apart. Spread again the toes, feet are big. Press down with the toes, your hands are still in your lower abdomen or your hips. Inhaling, rise up from your perineum, hips, vertebra by vertebra, roll the spine up. Open the chest, maintain the knees parallel. Exhale, vertebra by vertebra, we release down, 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 down. Keep going with your own breath. Inhaling, we rise up from the perineum. Hips, vertebra by vertebra, open, 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 open. The chest is open, press with your feet. Exhale, roll down, giving a nice massage to our spine. And keep going, feel more breath. All the air out, remember this. Deep inhalation, deep exhalation. And then slowly, slowly we release down, feeling all the spine in contact with the ground. Taking a moment here. If the eyes are closed, keep them closed. Gently move the right foot towards the left knee and open the right knee towards the outside. We're gonna reach the a reverse pigeon pose. So press with your right hand on your right knee and maybe open it towards the outside of you. Maintain both hips in contact with the ground. And then we hug the left leg from the back and we fully relax the left leg. So you can maybe pulse it a bit so you're sure that your left leg is fully relaxed. And then on the exhalation, send the shoulders down and push so that your legs go closer to your chest. You should feel a great stretch on your right hip. Inhale deeply here. Through the mouth, all the way out, down, 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 down. Fully supported to the ground, feel your body, feel which part of the body you're in contact with the ground. Relax your legs, try to really fight, feel that you can have a passive stretch Exhaling, pour in a bit more. Legs are closer to your chest. Where do you feel your breath now? Is it your belly? Or your chest? Or your throat? Simply observe it without wanting to change anything. Everything perfect as it is right now. And slowly, slowly, release the left leg and let your right foot go in towards the ground, very slowly. So the right foot is going towards the left side. And then let both knees go in towards the ground. With your left hand, you press on your knees and then we open the right hand towards the side and let your gaze be towards your right hand. So that the spine is in a full twist from the table to the neck. Exhaling, relaxing down and feeling how the shoulders and shoulder blades can also fully relax. Relax your lower jaw, relax your cheeks, your eyes, your forehead. Simply breathing in this simple belly twist. Exhale, deeply down here. Inhale, release the pose. Recenter the feet, the knees, the hips. Hands are again on our hips. We're going to move to a reverse pigeon pose, opposite side. Left foot on the right knee. Open the knee towards the outside. So also use your hand to push the left knee towards the outside. 
And then with the hands, we hug the right leg from the back, back of the knee. Pulse with your right leg, you're sure that you don't hold any tension there. And on the exhalation, roll the shoulders down towards the ground and your legs are closer to your chest. In here, exhale, release, lower down, 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 down towards the ground. Where do you feel your breath here now? Stay with the sensation of expansion when we inhale and release towards the ground when we exhale. Release tension from your lower jaw, cheeks, eyes and eyeballs, forehead. We want to pull a bit so that the legs are closer to your chest and a greater stretch in your hips. And then slowly release the hands. Let the left foot touch the ground to the right. And then let the knees also feel the gravity go moving towards the ground, opening the left hand and arm and moving our gaze towards the left. And again, our spine is in a full twist from the table to the neck. Eyes can be closed. And again, try not to hold any tension in this belly twist. So the whole body is fully supported by the ground. Release tension also from the legs and the hips. Let it go, everything to the ground. Very supportive here. We have the belly expand on the inhale and the belly button goes towards the spine on the exhale. Giving a nice massage to our internal organs and our belly, simply by breathing here. Exhale, release down all the air out, deep exhalation. In this slowly, slowly, we release the pose, we recenter the knees, the feet, the hips. Taking a moment here, letting the soles of the feet touch together and letting the knees open towards the outside. Hands on our hips or lower abdomen. And try to choose if you want your feet close or more far from your perineum. Whatever feels good for you as a stretch. Stay with it and exhale and again release everything down to the ground. No tension holds. Release down, 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 down. Shoulders, the arms, the hands, the neck, the chest, the belly, the hips, the legs, the feet, the head is fully relaxed down. The whole body is letting go. And then slowly, slowly, let your feet release down. We stretch the legs. We release down for Shavasana, find a full body relaxation. If it feels good to have your hands on your body, feeling the touch, just stay there. Feel the breath through your hand. Or maybe you prefer to open your arms. And maybe letting some space between your legs so that the perineum is free. And also letting some space between your arms and your torso so that also your armpits are free. If it's a bit cold, maybe sometimes the body temperature will lower down when we are in Shavasana. We want to take a t shirt or extra clothes or maybe a blanket if you have at home. And prepare to have the very last moment in Shavasana, really enjoying it. So choose your best option. How does it feel good for you right now? Choose your position. Take all the space that feels good for you. Maybe you want to fully open your body, or maybe you want to be more inward and touching part of your body. Go for what feels good for you and only you right here and now. And exhale, releasing down, 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 down. Feel now all the body is fully releasing to the ground. Trusting the ground as a great support. 
If you move a bit your chin towards your chest with your neck is a bit longer. So you gently slowly roll your head left to right, right to left. Find your center. Once again, releasing your lower jaw. Maybe slightly opening up the mouth. Maybe letting also the tongue release towards the throat very gently. Maybe some thoughts pop up. We treat them like visitors. As they come, they also go. Inhale, we acknowledge them. We exhale, we let them go. Put the attention to your breath, to your body, to the contact of your body with the ground. Feeling how the ground gives us energy, very grounding energy. When we can rest and release. And slowly, slowly, we start having some movement, fingers and toes. And we deepen in the breath through the mouth, exhaling all out. Maybe giving a nice stretch to our arms and legs. And slowly, slowly, finding our way towards one side. Very slowly, rolling towards a fetal position. Taking few breath also here. Try to really find your space also in this position. And then find your way to go back up towards cross leg sticky position. Very slowly, the eyes can still be closed. Try to be very gentle with your body while we are moving and changing position. And on the exhalation, we find ourselves again, releasing our shoulders down, 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 down. Let the chin point slightly towards the chest, I mean the neck long. Finding our tailbone, and on the next inhalation, finding again this very long and strong spine, more and more space between the vertebras. Opening the chest, exhaling, releasing the shoulders down again. Hmm. We position the left palm on top of the heart center, right hand on top of the left one. In a moment here, yeah, feeling again our heartbeat and our breathing. And we allow ourselves to feel gratitude, whatever it comes from. Being happy for whatever works in this moment to us in our life, whatever makes us happy. Let's allow ourselves to feel gratitude and to feel this moment of happiness. We allow ourselves to be graceful towards our body, mind, and soul to for these moments of practice that we give to, to each other. And now we can bow to it, sending the chin towards the chest. We center the head, the hands meet in a prayer position. We bring the hands forward, Lips, heart center. Namaste. Thank you, thank you, thank you for practicing with me. And if you have any question, anything you want to ask, you can write me WhatsApp or email. And I wish you a beautiful night and evening.